Today I want to talk about one of the most exciting and rare regular astronomical events that happen. This is called the transit of Venus and that means that Venus goes between the Earth and the Sun and we can actually see Venus going in front of the Sun when we look out into the sky. And we have a really rare opportunity to see this on June 5th, 2012. We're going to be able to see the transit of Venus for the last time in over a hundred years. So I really hope that you are going to be able to go out and watch it. And we're just going to talk a little bit about the science of what happens during a transit of Venus. The transit of Venus is actually something that's of great historical importance too. Um, early on, astronomers realized that they could use transit of Venus to actually determine the size of the solar system by perfectly timing when Venus appears to go in front of the sun in various places around the world. So in the 1700s, they sent ships around the world to observe this transit of Venus and make their observations to try to figure out the size of the solar system. Unfortunately, they didn't get very good answers, but in the 1800s, when the next transit of Venus happened, they were able to determine the size of the solar system using this method. As the Earth is lit up here by the sunlight, there's a shadow that appears and moves across the Earth. This is a shadow of Venus, and this is why we can see the transit from the Earth, because Venus is actually blocking out some of the sunlight so that we can see a dark shape, Venus, in front of the sun. Now we're looking at a light that represents the sun. We're gonna move an object across it. This would be Venus, and we can again see Venus moving across the sun because it's blocking out some of the light. You might be wondering why the transit of Venus is such a big deal. Well, it's a very rare phenomenon. In fact, there's not many regular astronomical events that happen more rarely than this. What happens is that every 105 or 121 years, it happens twice within eight years. So right now, it's gonna happen on June 5th and then it won't happen for another 105 years. And then it'll happen eight years later and then it'll be a break of another 121 years. So nobody will be seeing it again in their lifetimes, except right now, or maybe very few people will be lucky enough to see it again in 105 years. One thing that's really, really important when you look at the sun is that you use proper equipment. We cannot look at the sun with our eyes without protection. You could damage your eyes. If you do it at home, you have to use strong welding goggles, or you could use a pinhole camera that you can make yourself, or you can also order yourself some dark glasses, but it's very important that you're properly protected. And they will protect you from the sunlight, so when you look, you will still see the sun, but you will not damage your eyes. Well, that's one thing you can do. Another thing you could use is a telescope with a solar filter like this one that we have here. So again, this makes it safe to look at the sun. You would never ever look at the sun with a telescope without the special filter here. So it's specially designed to let only a small fraction of the sunlight in so it's safe to look at it. So June 5th, 2012 is a date to mark in your calendar. It's the date of the last transit of Venus for over 100 years your last chance to see a very rare and spectacular event. So on that date, be ready to observe it. <laughs>